Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Apopedia. I am Ratan Priya. I am really thankful for you guys that you are giving me so good response on my videos and and giving me so many video requests and I'm really glad to help you out with these requests. So this video is also dedicated to one of my subscribers who asked me to make one video, so videos on basic CPQ. There I covered all the basic models on the CPQ. So without wasting the time, let's move to the video. So as you can see my screen, this is the Velocity the city link and this is the CPQ course. As you already know that I already covered and already did certification in the CPQs and whoever tried to give Give the certification on CPQ that that will this video is also help for them as well. So move to the task. We have to create a pick list. So for that reason, you have to open your playground as I already opened it, and you have to go to the app launcher and either you can open any of the things. And I will definitely suggest you to open that configure price code that is CPQ. That click it. I already open it and go into the product console that I already there there in the screen. So now we have to create a pick list. So we have to go into the foundation. There is one plus pick list is there. So I will just write and the name of that pick list is number of subscriber. Okay, anything any name you can prefer to be write in the pick list and the code should be P K L. That should be capital any code you can write just i am writing n o s okay and description count of subscriber and then data type it should be the number any pick list you need to create so i am creating the number of subscribers so i just select the num data type should be the name number and the effective date is from today and until uh but i will not suggest you to give any pick list to be until end that was the cycle end of the life cycle of pick list it should be end on that day so but and i will suggest you to not keep these things because pick list is always be available for other product and you can use for the other product as well so now we have to sa save it now we have to add a pick list item so after saving it it will come so as you can see uh, that green sign the green message will pop up after saving it okay now we have to click go into the pick list item then we have a new pick list item item is nothing but inside the number of subscriber what you wanted to show in the drop down so that was come under the pick list item so i will keep uh, let's keep 1000 for the first and unit of measure no need of anything label it's also the one th 1000 only and code is nothing but you can write 1000 or any any number in it and sequence is just like let's say you keep one two three four so like that you want which one you wanted to be first and then which item you wanted to do in second and third like so sequence is nothing but like that only it's just a in ascending order descending on any order it should become according to the sequence value so that you have to keep so i just keep 10 and effective from today's until i don't want to keep so it's up to you if you want to uh, add this pick list after one day so you can keep effective until it's from the two days then i save it and let it save for so now i will create another pick list item that we have to create let's keep 5000 i'm i'm just thinking number of subscribers should be increased so i just keep 5000 and then the sequence i will keep 20 and should be active and then effective date should be two days and then save it like that you have to create two three because so let's create another one uh let's keep 10,000. okay and the label also 10,000. code also i will keep 1000 and the sequence must i just wanted to be keep in ascending order so i just keep 30 and then active and effective date should be today and then save it as you can see the sequence according to the sequence the value is coming like 10 23 so like this i wanted so it will come 100,000 5,000 10,000 so in this way you can create pick list and how you can check that pick list is created so now close this one and go into the pick list and then search it if you press the search button it will directly come up with all the pick lists so you don't want to search like this it's a, if you wanted to search like searching the by name so just keep the number of subscriber and fine yeah so it, as you can see it's coming so in this way you can create a pick list and uh, for adding pick list in the attribute and then adding into the product that i will cover in the next videos because uh, it's too long to be handled all these things in one videos otherwise the people who are beginner on this lecture it will may create some confusion so that's it for pick list and i will meet you in the next video till then stay tuned bye bye and definitely do subscribe to my channel Thank you.